Oh, no. That's right. You stay away. Get in there. Thank you very much. The Moose Man. Okay, next page. The Golden Age. Okay, let me just check how many. Okay, okay, we got nine. One, one, two, three. Okay, 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 okay. Not tremendously long. The Golden Age. The ground was rich and the barley grew in rich abundance. The sky was close to the ground and one could pluck the birds from their starry path with bare hands. Men cut down the barley with an owl until one day one of them found a sickle. But the sickle fell from his hands and cut off his head in the fall. Derp. His body fell to the ground and became the gates for the malevolent spirits of the lower world. The sky fled the filth of the lower world and became untouchable. The man's body still lies on the border of the worlds. Oh yeah. Oh shit. The oval plaque. An oval plaque showing a human face and two reptiles, eighth or ninth century. From the village of Yanindor, Cherdan district, Homecraft. Some of the artifacts were found at burial sites, some in ruined settlements in places of sacrifice. The rest were found in treasure troves or outside historical sites. This item is most accurately categorized as part of the Siberian animal style. Hmm. Alright. Can't jump. Cool. Well, oh, see, I wouldn't want to be a thing. I go straight into the, the goop, aren't they? That's a big boy right there. Damn it! Oh no, the whole thing again. Let's bring this back this way. Come this way. I want. I want to see them go in there. Yeah, it's close enough. No, it's not. Drink. Get in the drink. That's right. That's what you get. Yeah, that's what you get. Oh, can you come this way? Come this way. Come this way, please. Hello, Dakos. This game is called The Moose Man. Um, let me just. Oh, I don't really need to. So, the Moose Man, it was uh, made, I think, 2019. And I believe it is it is either based or is about an actual culture. So I'm not going to, like, do too many funny ha, -ha jokes about it. Um, it. It reminded me of, like, you know, walking sims like this. And I thought, okay, I like those sorts of games. 
I like the aesthetic of them. So yeah, we're going from place to place and we're learning about the culture. Это великий ришок мой шикрей путвождлен пам. Сечечкор путворы, кама испондот ащи солан. Край тому джиток янен, утка уис волнаезет. Утка кольти шогмис, ян прародитель мортезлан. Меду джавармаз, мортлан кириш и буддухлан родный ай. Котлан кышиш мир и шогмис, волон мир и шариш мир. Улыш мир шогмис вауфтен, котен вэлый пему джир. Yes. Achievement unlocked lower world. Okay, I'm in the lower world now. You know what, I find that, um, like, how do I want to express this? Primitive as, as um, most sort of origin mythos and mythology is, um, primal even, um, I find it to be very, um, like, surprisingly deep. It doesn't matter which culture you look into, you know, like Greek or Indian or, um, or even Russian or Native American or uh, Aboriginal. Like, it's, 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 um, the ways of explaining things might seem primitive now to us, um, but, um, fascinating stuff, I think. Fascinating stuff. Don't really know where I was going with that thought, but <laughs> anyway, we're now in the lower world. Ooh, that's a, um... Ah. Was I missing an artifact, though? Let's just back, back, back it up. Was I missing an artifact, though? Yes, I was. Alright. A small plaque showing a full-length human figure with two moose men, 7th or 8th century, from the village of Sir Sosiaki, Cherdin district, Pemprey. Most of the artifacts were found in ancient sanctuaries that are called Kost... Kostishia, mm. Boneyards. Because most discoveries from them are from the bones of sacrificial offerings made to pagan gods and spirits. Hmm. If you look closely, that's a wee wee. to Shondi, which few can bear. Your death places the world in danger. Without Shondi, all will perish. I will watch more than once as you hold the path to the world of the dead. Here I await the awakening that was long ago foretold. One. 
Then this one. Ha <laughs> ha. Very complicated. Kudmush. Kudmush is the son of the one-eyed shaman Pepsin and the bear. He became a tribal leader, but not everyone took to him. Those that wished him ill plotted together and sent him to the Vogel swamps, where there lived a cursed bride with the head of a monster. All who proposed to her and got scared of her visage were executed by her father. But the monster bride fell in love with Kudmush and showed him her true face, and it was beautiful. He took her for his bride and returned to her with his, uh, returned with her to his, where he founded the car which was named in his honor, Kudmun Car. Later, disguised as traitors, their enemies stole into the car and attacked. Kudimosh fought them bravely, but perished in the battle. He was buried under a mountain, where he awaits to be awakened. When our tribe is in great danger, Kudumosh will arise again. Okay, that's a cliff. But not for loose, man. Yet when Yen was born, yet, I don't know why I said that. When Yen was born, the lower world emerged in the dark depths of the endless ocean to give the damned a place to dwell. There are several paths to this ancient place where the dead and forgotten spirits live and await their time. It is there, in the depths of the underworld, that the burning flame of Shondi can be found. Through the endless ocean and under the low sky, the duck once swam. The duck laid an egg that hatched into Yen, a moose, the first spirit, the first god, the father of mankind. Yen saw himself in the reflection of the ocean, and from those two moose heads emerged in the sky, and from those two moose heads emerged the sky, the upper world where gods and souls dwell. The shell of the egg from which Yen was born became the earth, the middle world. In the murky depths of the ocean, the lower world emerged so that there would be a place for the damned to dwell. The smaller parts of the shell gave birth to many ancient spirits. The great six-legged moose Voisa, the master of the forest. Raku, the master of the river. Kaz, the bird of prey. And uncountable lesser spirits that we call Chad. Yo, word up to my churds. My little chuddies. I think that's a little chud. Wait, wait, wait. We're gonna back it up. Guess we're not. Okay, we're gonna do that because I spotted an artifact. You all, you all saw it right in the middle there. Right there. We're gonna. We're gonna drop it like it's hot. Okay. A winged moose man symbolizes the upper world. He is surrounded by a cord like design that represents his journey along the rivers of the universe. 
Chthonian creatures scatter as he walks. An artifact from the 7th or 8th century from the Okta River Basin in Kony. Be there more. There be no more. There be no more. Hello, little. Hello, little Chad. Oh, little Chad. Oh, what are you? Daughter of Man. Once upon a time, Yen went in search of a wife. He came to a dugout where an old couple lived with their three daughters. Yen threw down his skin and told the daughters to take care of it. The eldest and middle daughters could not resist eating a little fat from the moose's skin. Only the youngest took proper care of it. Yen chose the youngest daughter as his wife, of course he would. Because why would you choose the oldest? You'd always go for the youngest, wouldn't you? Because back then, savages, right? I said I wasn't going to talk so much shit about an actual culture. Anyway. Yen and the daughter of man gave birth to the seven sons that we call the Moose Men. Half man and half god, they learned many things from their father and mother and understood the path of all the spirits and all the misfortunes of man. Hmm. I great. We got a little bit more war in there. Always a good thing. I do have water back there, but it's room temperature. This is still cold. I don't know about you, but I do not like room temperature water. I like me my my cold water. Go down here. Mm. Oh, is this just nothing? It's nothing. Separation. Time passed and Yen could not live with the daughter of man. The foul smell of the living banished him from the hut and veiled his eyes. He left his wife and took his sons for a long hunt. The daughter of man sat and long gazed after them. Hmm. Another artifact up here. Oh. There we go. There we go. Bear heads. A bronze plaque depicting six bear heads. Three heads are placed horizontally and three vertically. All the heads are in a sacrificial pose. It is possible that bear heads were placed this way in the sanctuaries. 6th or 7th century, from the upper Kama Basin, Hermcrack. Bears were often depicted in a sacrificial pose, with their head on their paws. Even to this day, some tribes celebrate the bear feast, during which they worship bears. It may be that they were arranged just like this at Bali sites. Hmm. 
Uh, yeah. Мунискад и ен великой, мунисин дон шарат мирас, и старик он порищинка, вели саку и манывез, чапки с ен пачком вармаслыш, отир дон мув талечис, меду чат нылыс, вели буржук, сия ен еще раз бочтис, и морчелядь вели са и вармаслан, дыр олиса, ен инька даши жемкага я знылан, 